It is everyone's responsibility to help save Gaza. I think one of the reasons it took so long for student protests against the Gaza genocide to kick into high gear in the U.S. might be because it took some time for the collective realization to dawn that nobody in charge is interested in ending this nightmare. If Trump had won in 2020, it may not have taken so long for this to occur. Progressive-minded students would have understood from the beginning that the president is an immoral, Israel-coddling imperialist, and we may have been seeing these campus protests that are freaking out the empire managers today a lot sooner. But because it was Biden and not Trump, there was this background assumption that surely the grown-ups in charge would take care of this thing. Surely they won't let this go on for very long. Surely they're just walking a careful diplomatic line while negotiating a ceasefire in the near term, as any government that cares one iota about human rights would be doing. It took half a year for that illusion to be dispelled. Half a year for people to really start going, oh shit, they're really just going to keep these atrocities going. Nobody in charge cares about stopping this. Half a year to see that nobody in the White House is going to save Gaza. None of their elected lawmakers on Capitol Hill are going to save Gaza. Nobody anywhere in their government is going to save Gaza. Not even the ordinary members of the public and the older generations are going to save Gaza. Half a year to see that the responsibility for ending an active genocide had been passed all the way down to a bunch of wide-eyed college kids. Which would, of course, be a horrifying thing to realize and would in fact be a profoundly jarring indictment of our entire civilization. But that is indeed what has happened. And you can see how it would take some time for young people to come to understand and process such a thing. And to be clear, no part of this should be accepted by anyone. The fact that nobody in the world's most powerful government is taking any responsibility for ending the continual mass atrocity in Gaza proves that government does not deserve to exist and that it needs to be completely dismantled from top to bottom, including and especially the unelected aspects of that government which are not officially acknowledged. The fact that it has fallen to a bunch of university students to begin causing any meaningful problems for this genocidal regime is obscene, and should never have happened. Those university students should not be responsible for standing against this genocide, and in truth, the responsibility is not all theirs. It is ours as well. Each and every one of us are responsible for doing everything we can to end this horror. None of us can end it single-handedly, but we can all do something every day to help end it collectively. The machine is far too big and powerful for any one person to deal it a fatal blow, but we can all throw sand in its gears to make it harder and harder for it to continue. We can do this by making our opposition known in every way possible and by drawing public awareness to the sadistic savagery that's being perpetrated in Israel with the help of its Western allies we live under. Using any medium and platform we can make use of, we can help people understand the ways the imperial media have been manipulating public understanding of this genocide and minimizing their own government's responsibility for it so that they can really understand the severity and urgency of this issue. The U.S. centralized empire is heavily dependent on soft power, which means it needs to maintain a good public image in order to continue functioning. That's what all the mass media propaganda, Silicon Valley information control, and mainstream culture manufacturing in New York and Hollywood is all about. If enough people start working to destroy the empire's public image by spreading awareness of its depravity in Gaza, it will be forced to retreat or risk losing the credibility of the soft power manipulation systems it has put so much energy into maintaining over the years. All positive changes in human behavior of any scale are always preceded by an expansion of consciousness. By spreading consciousness throughout our society about what's happening in Gaza, we throw sand in the gears of the imperial murder machine and make it harder and harder for it to keep rolling forward. And it is our responsibility to do exactly that, in every way we can. This world is so sick because nobody takes responsibility for the things that are happening in it. The rich and powerful shore up more and more wealth and power while offloading the responsibility for it onto others. 
They destroy the biosphere while offloading the consequences onto ordinary people, while telling us we just need to ride our bikes more and consume less in order to fix the problem. They start wars and back genocides abroad while refusing to provide for the needful at home. And if you complain, they tell you you just need to vote harder next election. They take all of the power and none of the responsibility. We can't have a healthy world until we reverse this dynamic. And like all matters concerning responsibility, that means it begins with the face in the mirror. We all need to step up to the plate and take responsibility for turning this catastrophe around. And in 2024, that means starting with the genocide our own governments are actively facilitating.